Okay, in continuation of the with the previous classes, permutation combinations, I explained about the permutation definition and uh, some two identities in the previous part and uh, how to solve the problems of based on based on permutations. Now, today I will discuss some word problems, word related problems on permutation. Okay, uh, now you see the first problem. The first problem is like this. The number of ways of arranging the letters of the word. What is that word? Logarithm. Logarithm is the word. The number of ways of arranging the letters of the word logarithm such that no two vowels are come together. So, first question is no two vowels are come together. The second one is what? All the vowels come together. Here no two vowels come together. In the previous class already I explained how to find out the number of arrangements whenever the condition no two come together is given to you. Okay. Now today the second one is what? All the vowels come together. How to solve such type of problems? All the vowels come together. Now the next one is third one is what? All the vowels are not together. So if you know how to find out all the vowels come together, it is easy to find out. Okay. So what is the given word? Given word is logarithm. The first question is what? No two vowels come together. So the question is about vowels. The question is about vowels. No two vowels come together. Second is what? All the vowels come together. And third is what? All the vowels are not together. So remember the question. Now I am going to give you the solution how to find out uh, the solution of these questions. Okay. Keep in mind the question once again because I am going to erase this. No two vowels come together. First question. Second question is what? All the vowels come together. And the third question is all the vowels are not together. Right. Now you see this. So the given word is what? Logarithm. Logarithm. Right. So first question is what? No two vowels are together. So that is the question. No two vowels are together. So whenever this condition no two are together given to you, what we have to do? What I told in the previous class, you have to you have to arrange the remaining objects. So here vowels, I will mark the vowels. Vowels are O, O, A, I, okay, O, A, I. So there is no U and there is no E, okay. So three vowels are there. So neglect these three vowels first, okay, O and A and I. Count how many remaining are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 letters. So totally we have how many? 6 plus 3, 9. It should be 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Out of which 3 are vowels. Okay. So first you have to arrange the remaining kind of objects. In the previous class I explained. What are the remaining kinds? 6 consonants. So I will arrange consonants like this. So one consonant here, second consonant, third, fourth, fifth and sixth consonant. So six consonants are arranged. Now you see the gaps. Gaps are what here? 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So first of all, these consonants L, G, R, T, H, M. How many ways you can arrange? 6 letters, 6 places. So therefore, the vowels can, uh, sorry, the consonants can be arranged. Consonants can be arranged in only means 6 factorial ways you can arrange. Consonants can be arranged in 6 factorial ways because of 6 consonants. Next, what we will do in between the gaps? In between the gaps of consonants, we will keep these three vowels. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 gaps we have uh, including the ending positions also and in between the consonants. So whenever you keep the vowels in between them, no two vowels are going to be together. So therefore, out of these seven places, you have to arrange these three vowels. How many ways it can be done? Now what I am doing, vowels I am arranging now. How many ways? 7 places we have to arrange 3. So 7 available, 3 you have to arrange. So 7, P, 3. So therefore, the number of ways of arranging the uh, letters of the word logarithm such that no two vowels are together equals to by fundamental principle of multiplication, what happens? 6 factorial into 7, P, 3. So that is equals to 6 factorial into 7, P, 3. How to calculate? 3 is there. Therefore, 3 numbers you have to write. 7 into 6 into 5. So, this number you can calculate. So,
so this is the way this is the way of finding whenever he is asking the number of arrangement in which no two vowels are together now what is the second question so now the second question is what now what is the second question second question is all the vowels together all the vowels are together so what is the word logarithm logarithm so how many vowels o a and i three vowels now all the vowels are together whenever you want particular kind of objects together you have to use the method i say i say treating one okay so there's a word I, I i want to use okay so treating one means whatever the objects you want to make them together o and this a and this i these i'll suppose as one letter or one unit you may say one letter or one unit how many letters remaining now how many letters remaining now six letters six consonants so six plus one so seven now consider this that you have only seven letters suppose that you have seven letters so indirectly we are taking that three le letters as a one letter okay so remaining six totally seven so suppose this is packed together o a i as a one unit and this six consonants and six plus one totally we have seven so what i will do these seven consonants and this o a i okay as a unit i will take and i'll randomly arrange them so for example if you want to see one example i'll take consonants uh, how many six consonants so c1 c2 c3 c4 somewhere i take o a i c5 c6 so this is i am keeping in mind o a i is packed together and i am supposing that as a one letter and six consonants can be shuffled okay so this is the random arrangement of six consonants and one unit which contains o a i so first i'll arrange like this so how many ways we can do this how many ways totally we have seven letters so totally we have seven letters therefore how many ways we can arrange seven factorial ways that can be done seven factorial ways that can be done so next what next what is it over no because of the condition is o comma a comma i should be together but what is the order it is not given in the data o a i order is not given so you can reshuffle them you can shuffle o a i among themselves so o a i r i o a r o i a like this they can be shuffled so o a i how many ways we can arrange themselves three places three letters they can be arranged in how many ways three factorial ways so therefore this is seven factorial one uh, job is done the second job is arranging themselves it can be done in ways how many ways three factorial ways so therefore total number of arrangements what are total number of arrangements now because of according to fundamental principle of multiplication here we have to use fundamental principle of multiplication why because of the main job is arranging all the letters in which what we did what we did it is supposed as one unit and randomly arranged in seven factorial ways but there is a something job still we have to do that is what arranging oai among themselves three factorial so whenever you complete these two tasks the main job will be finished so that's why we have to multiply seven factorial into 3 factorial so here all the vowels are together that result is what 7 factorial into 3 factorial how many ways you can arrange the letters of the word logarithm such that all the vowels are together so once again i'm revising the method how to solve so whenever all the vowels are together all the boys are together all the consonants are together all the odd uh, uh, numbers are together such that in such type of problems whatever the object he wants to keep together that you suppose as a one unit and count with the remaining okay then arrange them arrange them randomly how many ways it can be done then among themselves among themselves that also you have to find out the number of ways that the particular objects are going to be together can be arranged among themselves how many ways that you have to write then multiply them according to fundamental principle of multiplication okay now the third question is what now the third question is what all the vowels all the vowels are not together all the vowels are not together so actually how many total number of arrangements 
how many total number of arrangements without any conditions because of they are 9 letters therefore it will be 9 factorial. Now from this 9 factorial in the previous case what I did in the previous case all the vowels are together. So all the vowels are together what is the result we got all the vowels are together what is the result I got tell me 7 factorial into 3 factorial. So if I remove this all the vowels together from the total number of arrangements 9 factorial minus 7 factorial minus into 3 factorial. What is this? This is total number of arrangements. This is what the arrangements in which the vowels are together. So if I remove the arrangements in which vowels are together, the remaining arrangements will be what? Arrangements in which vowels are not together. So whenever all the vowels are not together means total number of arrangements minus vowels are together. Okay. So, all the vowels are not together means what? Total number of arrangements minus all the vowels together. All the vowels are not together. What is the result? Total number of arrangements minus all the vowels are together. So, if you remove all the vowels are together arrangements, you will get the arrangements in which all the vowels are not together. Okay. You see the next problem. Little bit different from all vowels are together. The number of arrangements of the letters, number of arrangement of the letters of the word garden. So the given word is what? Now garden. The given word is garden. Now what is the question? Okay. Uh, we have to find out all arrangements. All arrangements with what is the condition given? Vowels should be in alphabetical order. Vowels should be in alphabetical order. So what are the vowels here? The vowels are A and E. So what is the alphabetical order? What is the alphabetical order? Same AE. Alphabetical order is AE. So this is actually the word garden itself, itself contains the vowels in alphabetical order. So means A should come first letter E. Letter E. If you see only vowels with respect to vowels, if you think of A should be in first place, maybe first, maybe second, maybe third, but E should be latter. E should be placed after E. Okay. So, the position number of E must be greater than the position number of A. That is the condition. Alphabetical order means. Not like together. He is not asking vowels are together. Vowels should be in alphabetical order. Means first A should come, then E should come. So, <coughs> see, each and every word. For example, if you consider the garden, how many possibilities of A, E? You can write E, A. So, keeping G, R, D, N fixed. Keeping G, R, D, N fixed, A, E and E. These are the two possibilities. So, for example, if I take one more A, R, G, E, D, N. So, here you see A is in the first place, E is in the second place. Means not second place, means latter. The position of E is after, uh, placed after A. So, therefore, it is also in alphabetical order. For this word actually, how many possibilities? Keeping in mind A, E, one more possibility is E, R, G, a, D, N. So, here for every word, for every word there will be two words keeping in mind A, E because of with A, E one word, with E, A one word. Out of which for every two, how many words we have to count? We have to count the words in which, in which the order of vowels is A, E. So, therefore, you have to count this. We should not we should not count this. In garden, we have to count garden. But whenever you change as E, it should not be counted because of we want the vowels in alphabetical order. So therefore, for every two words, you have to count actually one. For every two, you have to count one. Actually, how many words are there? Total number of words because of one, two, three, four, five, six. So therefore, the total number of words can be formed the total number of words can be formed is how many? 6 factorial. This is the total number of words of garden. But in which for every two there will be one in which A, E are in alphabetical order. For every two words there will be one word which is in alphabetical order. Okay. <clears throat> so therefore, therefore half of the total number of words gives the required uh, arrangements. So therefore, the required arrangement is what? Half of 6 factorial. Okay. Now, if you have confusion, I will give you some more example now. One more example now. What is that? For example, you see 
equation for example you see now equation okay now question is same now okay i'll use the same question what is that question how many arrangements are possible using the letters of the word how many arrangements are possible using letters of the word equation in which vowels are in alphabetical order now you see same here only two vowels are there so little bit complicated because of here vowels are more e u a i o so all the vowels are included in the word equation so here words you have to count okay how many words you have to count in which these vowels are in alphabetical order means a e i o u in this order so in a word if vowels are in this order then we will count it that the question okay the vowels should be in alphabetical order how many words we can form in which vowels are in alphabetical order so for example one word i'll write a after i'll keep q e i t okay n o u so in which uh, this is a word okay formed with the letters of the word equation only so i used all the letters of the word 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 but here you see a e i o u they are in what alphabetical order so but actually if there is a word if there is a word in which vowels are in alphabetical order vowels are in alphabetical order but if i change that vowels i can get some more words disturbing the order of a e i o u how many ways a e i o u five letters a e i o u five letters how many ways you can uh, shuffle them in five factorial ways that is means 120 words can be formed 120 words can be formed from each word in which vowels are in alphabetical order five factorial words can be formed but out of that five factorial words how many words you have to count only one word you have to count only one word you have to count so what is the meaning of this here total number of words are what six factorial why i made it half because of for each word it corresponds to two words by interchanging the vowels but here for each word in which vowels are in alphabetical order corresponds to how many words 120 words so in total number of for example you have total number of words are 360 total number of words are 360 our count is what because of out of 120 you have to count only one so out of 360 how many we have to count out of 120 you have to count one so out of 120 you have to count one out of 120 you have to count one means how many actually three only three words are there in which a e i o u are in alphabetical order so i am supposing that 360 are the total number of words but if total number of words is something n if total number of words are something n what is the answer for this question how many arrangements are there in which a e i o u are alphabetical order will be equal to what n by this 120 means n by 5 factorial n by 5 factorial will be the answer so how many words we can form here equation how many words we can form because of eight letters are there so eight factorial total number of words out of total number of words eight factorial we have to divide with what five factorial so eight factorial by five factorial okay so this is something difficult comparing with this problem so blindly you have to remember one thing whenever order is fixed whenever order is fixed how many letters how many digits or how many objects how many objects or how many letters order is fixed that number should be in the denominator so here five letters order is fixed so divide with five factorial here two letters order is fixed so therefore divide with what two factorial two factorial is nothing but two so keep in mind whenever order of a particular kind of objects fixed hmm, we have to divide with the factorial of that number of object okay now next concept next type of problem how to find rank of a word so what is the meaning of the question first i'll explain okay how to find rank of a word in generally whenever you shuffle all the letters of the word first tell me how many words we can form okay that i want to calculate first 
so many words we can form using the letters of the word victory 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay total number of letters are what 7 so 7 letters are there okay 7 letters so how many words you can form how many words we can form total number of words is what 7 factorial words we can form so total number of words 7 factorial we can form now what i will do these 7 factorial words these seven factorial words i will arrange according to the dictionary order so what is the dictionary order so first the letters in in generally in the dictionary if you see all the words with a first will come then later all the words starts with b then all the words starts with c that is the order of uh, order of the dictionary for example if you see particularly all the words starts with a in which you can see first all word starts with a a then the word starts with a b then the word starts with a c like that it goes on so the seven factorial words we formed with the vector u by shuffling among themselves so i c t o r y b r t o r y c i v like this so many words we can form out of that all the words if i arrange them according to the dictionary order okay only these letters should be considered not all the letters just the letters included in the word victory should be taken into count okay so uh, tell me first what are the words starts first from this the word starts with what c because of c is the letter according to the alphabetical order in our word which comes first okay so all the words starts with c how many are there that is the first thing the second i how many words are there starts with i so therefore you have to count according to the alphabetical order so first i'll write i'll write all the letters of the victory word in alphabetical order okay so c first then i o then r s t u v w x y okay seven letters one two three four five six seven seven letters completed okay so this is the alphabetical order so what are the words first starts with c so how many words are there with c that we have to count first okay remember i am going to give you a simple shortcut a simple shortcut directly you can calculate what is the rank of any word whenever all the letters are distinct if there is a simple shortcut i'll explain i'll give you that uh, shortcut in next class i'll give you that shortcut in next class okay so uh, keep in touch with my channel i am going to give some shortcuts also in between all right so the word starts with c we have to count first then the word starts with i then the word starts with o then the word starts with r then the word starts with t okay so how many words i am going to calculate that is a very simple thing but the idea i am giving you first how to solve the problems that idea i am giving you so first you have to count how many words starts with c i o r t after finishing starts with c i uh, o r t the next word starts with what v okay so we cannot take that v because of if you take v all the possibilities then all the words with v also will be counted whereas you have to find out the position of victory where it is coming so it will come in between of all the words starts with v so first what i will do i will complete this task and I'll coming, uh, I'll I'll be come back to find the position of victory when it starts with you. Okay, leave it that. Now see, so if starts with C, the first position is already fixed. Actually, we have seven letters. Uh, out of that seven letters, the first place is fixed. So remaining place, how many places? Six places. How many letters remain? Six letters. How many ways we can arrange? Six places, six letters. That can be done in six factorial ways. And similar way, in similar way, what you can do in similar way, what you can do? It starts with I. Therefore, remaining six places again six letters okay so therefore six factorial ways so this is also six factorial ways and this is also six factorial ways and this is also six factorial ways so totally how much six factorial six factorial six factorial six factorial so one two three four five five into six factorial five into six factorial okay now <coughs> So I'll calculate this at the end, okay, after completing the total. Now V, whenever it starts with V, what we have to do? Your letter, okay, your first letter, okay, your first letter is coincide with the 
first letter of the given word in the question. Okay, observe that. Now, C I O R T counted. Next, what you want to count next? V with V. You want to count with V. But but your first letter is coincided with the first letter of the word. Then what you have to do? You have to freeze that. You have to freeze that V. You have to freeze that V. And then you have to place now the second letter. Okay. So like this. V C. Because again you have to go in alphabetical order. Starts with V C. Then starts with V I. Now here starts with V I. Whenever you are saying starts with V I. Again you observe. Again you notice that two letters coincide with the given word. First two letters of the given word. Then you have to freeze again. Okay. First you see this V C. V C are fixed. So therefore how many places left because of seven letters. Two places are already fixed. So five places. How many? Five factorial. 5 factorial. Then starts with V i we have to because of V c it is completed then V i then V o then V r then V t but but here V i is coincided therefore we have to freeze the two places now you have to go for the third place. So whenever keep in mind whenever the letter places coincide with the letters of the given word then you have to freeze those places and you have to place the next letter. Now V i is coincided then I start again V i c. V I C because again you have to place the third one, third one from the beginning again in alphabetical order. But V I C observe again, see this V I C is coincided with what? Your word letters. So therefore V I C is also freezed. Now you have to go to the fourth place. Now fourth place again from the beginning V I C we cannot use used letter. So leave it I. Yeah, no I is already used. O. Yes, we can write V I because of the third place are coincided with the three places. That's why we freezed it. Then we are going for the fourth place. Fourth place you can fix C. No, because of used. You can fix I. No, because of it is used. O. Yes, we can. V I C O. Observe that V I C O is not coinciding with your let word. So therefore, you can continue. So four places fixed. Remaining three places. How many ways? Three factorial ways. Now V I C O. After that, fourth place. Now three places already freezed, already fixed. V I C O. Next what? V I C R. So, 3 factorial because of 4 places fixed, 3 places, 3 factorial. After VICR, VICT, VICT. Now you see VICT. Observe that. My word starting with VICT, but the question word is also starts with VICT. Therefore, 4 places are freezed, 4 places are fixed. Now we have to place now the 5th one. Now, 5th one again from the beginning. C already used, I already used, O. Yes, we can. But again you see. Again you see VICTO, your word also starts with VICTO, so 5 places fixed, 5 places freezed. Now we have to go to 6th place, for 6th place, for 6th place again come from the beginning, C used, I used, O used, R, yes we can write, but uh, here you see again it is coincided, so last letter left with us is what, so victory, this is the position of victory, this is the position of the victory. <coughs> So therefore, 6 factorial, 6 factorial, 6 factorial, 6 factorial, 6 factorial, 5 and 5 factorial is 1. Okay. So now the rank is, what is the rank? Rank is 5 into 6 factorial plus 1 5 factorial. Okay. 1 5 factorial plus 2 3 factorials, 2 3 factorials, then again plus 1. So this is equals to 5 factorial is how much? 120 and uh, 6 factorial means into 6. So 6. 2, 2, 6, 7, 20. So, 5 into 720 plus 5 factorial is 120 plus 2 into 6, 12 plus 1. So, 5 into 720 plus 120 plus 12 plus 1. So, this will be the result. Okay, you can calculate that value. Okay, that value is 37 double 3. That value is what? 37 double 3. Okay, so today this is the lesson and in the next class I am going to give you how to find out rank of a word, rank of a word easily directly without using this much lengthy method. I am going to give you a simple shortcut. Okay, and uh, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Some more videos are going to upload for uh, board level exams as well as for G-Main and also G-Advance. Very useful lessons are going to come. So, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.